everyone welcome back to another reading vlog it is april 15th it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we're gonna start this reading vlog with a book haul so i just got home i went up to east hampton massachusetts with my mom she had a photo shoot and right before we went in we decided to stop somewhere and get some food and the place we happened upon was a used bookstore slash cafe and obviously i had to pick up some books <laughs> let me go ahead and show you what i got so the first book i got is everything i never told you by celeste nang yay i'm gonna butcher that last name so i'm gonna apologize right now and i don't know a lot of the synopses for these books i just picked them up because either i recognize the cover as something that i've seen everywhere or it's something I've already read and I wanted to add to my collection. That being said, I'm just going to kind of breeze through the books that I got. Next one is My Sister the Serial Killer. I am not going to butcher this name, so I won't say it. But I feel like this book is very talked about and I see it everywhere. Next, I got Less by Andrew Sean Greer. The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. And then this one that I did not know was this Larger Than Charged. This is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. And then the last book I got, which I was so excited to find, I can't believe I found this there, is an arc for Wilder Girls. And this is by Rory Power. So I'm really excited. I got all of these books for about $26, which is incredible. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the ones to my shelf. And then I was gonna add them to this TBR cart, but I feel like I want to shift this TBR cart to the lower shelves of my bookshelves, which are empty, um, just to kind of fill them in and get this less overwhelming. So if I do end up doing that, I will make sure I either include a clip of me doing it or include a clip of when I'm finished. everyone <laughs> so excuse me looking like trash it's saturday so we have just been kind of lounging around the house charlie just took aria to the store 
and I finished my book. So I figured I'd jump in here and talk about it. So I finished The Phantom Prince by Elizabeth Kendall. And this is a book that I'm not going to give a rating just because of the subject matter of it. I don't think books like this necessarily need to have a rating attached to them. You know, obviously with how graphic and horrific this case was, I don't think it's really fair to rate her experience. Obviously I could rate it, you know, based on her writing and the layout and the pacing and all that, but I just, I don't know, for me personally, I just feel really weird giving books of this nature a rating. That being said though, I did, Enjoy is just not the right word. Let me put it this way. I did find this book very interesting seeing, you know, her perspective and the manipulation that she was put through. And yes, at times, and she even says it in the afterward, seeing how devoted she was to a man who clearly was not devoted and honest with her was infuriating. But I can at least empathize with the situation she was in. This is definitely a book I would recommend if, as I said in my previous vlog, if you're into this case like I am, this is definitely a new perspective. I know this book came out, I think back in the 80s, and then she just um, republished it with uh, her daughter had written a contribution and then it's updated and expanded from that initial version. Now I'm faced with the hard task of figuring out what I wanna read next. So why don't we, I'm going to move you guys over to my TBR and let me tell you what I'm thinking about picking up. All right, so I'm over here next to my TBR cart. So I did not end up shifting any of these over to the bottom shelf of my bookshelves. As I was reorganizing and adding books into my shelf, I realized I really do like having the separation with this cart and this top shelf in particular, I put the books that I'm most excited for are ones I recently purchased that I know I wanna get to soon or even ones that have been sitting on this cart for too long. And so I keep, I keep them up here so I see them the most and am reminded to read them. So I'm thinking my next book will probably be a book up on this. I could pick up on the come up and get back into it. As I said a few vlogs ago, I only got eight pages into it, but that's definitely kind of high up on my list. Lore, I keep thinking of, so I feel like I should pick that one up soon too. These three books right here, The Night Swim, The Girl in the Mirror, and Bunny have all been in this cart for several months now. So those are books that I'm like, I should get those done and read those so I can finally say I've read them. So I'm feeling really stuck. I don't know if I want to pick up a YA. I don't know if I want to pick up a thriller, suspense, a historical fiction, a fantasy. I'm really stuck. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a few that I know I'd be happy reading no matter what. And I think I'm going to do a poll on my Instagram and see if everyone over there can help me out. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle somewhere on the screen and I'll put it down below. Make sure you follow me, I'm on there daily. <laughs> Hello, it's about 1.30 on Sunday afternoon. You're gonna hear Aria bouncing and causing chaos while I film this clip, so let's get into it. So I did end up doing a poll on my Instagram last night to help me figure out what to read next. And I did four choices, Lore, The Song of Achilles, On the Come Up, and Truly Devious. And Lore and The Song of Achilles were neck and neck. And now you can hear my dog freaking out. I live in a zoo. Anyways, so those two were neck and neck. And so I did a separate poll with just Lore and The Song of Achilles and the Song of Achilles won by a landslide. So I managed to start this last night and I was able to read a little bit today while Aria took a nap. Yes, Aria. Uh, so I got to chapter seven, which is page 58 and I am loving it. I was really concerned because this book is so hyped up that I would just find it lacking in some way. I think it's a fear of mine with overhyped books. I never know if they're actually as good as everyone claims they are or if it's just overhyped. But thankfully, as of right now, that is not the case. I am loving these two characters and I will definitely talk about this more the further I get into it. Aria apparently wanted to join me for the outro, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here so I can get it up today and I will see you guys in the next one. Can we say bye? No, she's just gonna stare at herself. All right guys, keep reading and I will talk to you in my next vlog.